Okay, let me see if I can do this on the first try. Go up to the wall, and we gotta get this perfectly even. Did I get it? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Look at that. First try, guys. I'm usually terrible at grand games. Okay, um... I think you have to do this, but I don't think you have to do it, like, right this second. And also, like, this this is bullshit, because, like... It's like, oh, you throw the lift, and... Like, Claire just stands there for dramatic uh, panning of uh, the z things and for zombies to show up. But, you know, fuck you guys. So I'm just going to back up as far as I can and wait for him to... Well, fill my pistol up and back up as far as I can. Do 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 tooth. Yep. I didn't mean to do that, but apparently having hats on zombies makes them more powerful. Something I've learned from video games. So, like, in the inevitable zombie apocalypse, I'm going to have to... Oh, they're dead. Okay. There's a crawler over here. Okay, so we got some bowgun arrows. And a biohazard card. And I need the biohazard card for the next, the big area that we're going to next. And I could have, like, okay, I think grabbing that silver card right there is the thing that makes a mini boss spawn. Uh, you do not have to fight the mini boss. I'm. I'm probably gonna run. I'm gonna run probably and save it in the. Uh, run and save it in the oh the place with the uh the room where the gold lugers go and i'm gonna do that because i'm th if i take too much damage from the boss uh he like mini boss he's not a boss yet right now he's just a mini boss you actually have to fight him later in the game but right now you can just run around him and, uh, I want to kind of not get my face eaten off, but at the same time, I think there's some bowgun arrows outside there that I would kind of like to grab because I want all the ammo I can get. So I'm going to see how much damage I take running around, uh, poking around where I think the bowgun arrows are. And just so you know, I always think something is going to happen here, but nothing ever happens. Like... Here I am, 14 years later, still expecting this shit to happen. I love the, the water effects. It's like the water is perfectly still, and then, and then, and then, just like, like magic, you see ripples. Hmm, I could just run straight for the... the thing ah. you know what I'm, I'm just gonna go for it if I fuck up you'll never know because I'll just re-record this although I will probably make mention of it <laughs> I don't generally like lie about when I have to re-record not usually so is the is it the gold worm or is it dogs 
If you come in here early, it's dogs, which it's going to be the gold for him. Okay. I am terrible. There's an easy way to dodge this boss. I just am not good at it. So we're just going to run straight forward here. When, oh god. Wait. Oh gun arrows. Yes. I should have, if I was smart, I would have peeked in here and grabbed, grabbed the arrows while it was dogs. And that way I wouldn't have to fool around with this place. With that gold worm at all. But I only got hit once, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm still in caution. So let's go up here. Now, in the Dreamcast version, my brain is telling me that this was a timed sequence, this upcoming cutscene. But it's not here, I don't believe. Nothing useful, huh? Well, you know, maybe you could stab a zombie in the eye with uh, a pencil? It's too dark. Uh, so, want to grab the bow gun? Yes. I think that you have to uh, grab the bow gun to look at the uh, th thing here. He's basically saying that there's a picture in that room that's too dark to see in. And he's using the number that's signed on the bottom as the <clears throat> pass number. Oh, okay. Sucks to be that guy. So anyway, we gotta find some way to get that, uh, a close-up of that picture and get the passcode. That is circum, like, venting thing that we have to do, like, number 47 in a Resident Evil game. So that's okay. But I'm pretty sure that this was like a timed event, not, not, not like a... Of course, I could be wrong. <sighs> that was close. Like, it had, you had some like ridiculously short amount of time to get through, and then, like, then that cutscene triggered, but whatever. Okay, uh, so we gotta go in there. First, we're going to peek around in here, because there's ammo to be had. Alright. Uh, let's see. We're going to combine this with this. That's like number one reason why I really like the bowgun in this game. Like it, it's, I think it does this. Oh shit! Hi guy. The zombies in this place just get back up really fast and take a lot of bullets. That guy took a nine bullets. Let's see, do any of these open? I don't think any of the ones on this side open. Two, three, four. Oh shit, there's two! Get, get, get back! I knew I was gonna get bit twice there, son of a bitch. Still in caution? No, I'm in danger. Okay, now I'm in caution. Damn, I can't believe I got bit twice there. That sucks. You guys, that sucks so bad. So anyway, but there's a bunch of uh, ammo in here for the bow gun. Like, they load you up, man. Like...
It's like, man, that, they, they was just rolling in bowgun bolts in here. I want to say there's one more. There's, there's three in here, and it's on this side. Guess not. Or is it over here? Is it on this guy? Yes, it is. Okay. So, like, yeah, right now, off the bat, right after getting in, I have 210 shots with that bowgun. So, you know, that's nice. That's really nice. Alright. I don't think there's anything in here, actually, that I need to do right now. You need to fucking die. Okay. Okay. It'd be great if there was a healing item or something in here, but no. I don't think there is. Shut the valve. See, this right here just seems to me like like maybe there was something that they cut. Like, maybe the valve was missing. And, like, you were supposed to go find it first. So get that key, and it's broken. Of course it is. I forget if you can turn the water back on. Nope, can't. Okay. And tell me that it doesn't look like there's something underneath these stairs. If only you had a crouch button. Can you picture Claire duck walking? Because, you know, I can, and that's hilarious to me. That dude's going to be getting up later. I just know it. Okay, let me see. There's one more room I want to go into, which is here. You need to be dead. Don't just play dead. Like, be dead. Stay down. Oh, come on. I suppose that's my fault for being so close. No, oh, no, no. God. Zombies are really aggressive in this game. Okay, he's dead. Just making sure. Secured with a simple lock. Hmm. Well, just gonna tell you right now, we're gonna need the lock pick for that. Print out the map. Yes. Is there anything else in this room? Green herb. Yep. I'll take it. Nothing useful. I forget, is there something over here? I don't think there's anything in any of this. Anyway, what we want is here. Yes. Get some go uh, go gun powder. No, it's bow gun powder. This is one of the reasons why the bow gun is way better in this game than it is in code in uh 
for Resident Evil 2. Explosive Bowgun Arrows. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're basically Jill's Magnum. There is an actual Magnum in this game, uh, but uh, Jill doesn't get access to it for a while. So while we're here at the prison, these arrows are our Magnum. Um, I don't think you could actually combine them directly with the bowgun in the original Code Veronica, meaning that if you had all of your arrows in the bowgun, that you couldn't make explosive arrows. But that's not the case in this game, so... Uh, might as well put them all in there. Might as well. Not too particularly worried about pistol ammo anyway. Because I've got like 200 and something shots of bowgun ammo. And the bowgun is a little more powerful, I think, than the pistol. I think the bowgun is as strong as... Uh... Well, so anyway, we can't get back out now. Because that's just terrible, and it sucks really, really badly, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> Alfred is like the worst shot ever. Oh, shit. So this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just climb the stairs. And it won't let you go back out the way you came or anything like that. Um, you have to go this way and you have to follow Alfred. Uh, but on the plus side, we're about to hear why I love Alfred so much. Yes, I'll take those handgun bullets. Yes. And we're going to go in here, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because there's a save point in here in a box. And there's just not enough boxes to go around in this game, honestly. Is there anything in any of these pockets? I don't think there is. But I never can quite remember. Let's see, there's an herb. And there's some hemostatic medicine. Yes. So I'll carry that. And... Is those bowgun arrows? No, another herb. Well, of course I'll take that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this to get up to fine. Oh, that didn't get me up. What? Well, okay, that, that's that's fine. I'm not going to use another herb right now. So I'm going to keep the hemostatic in my inventory. Keep that biohazard card in my inventory. I'm going to put that up. Put that up. And... I'm going to start using those. However... use these right now give me those yes I'll take the ink ribbons and yes I will save my game ah. so we will save right there and I think I'm making pretty good progress. Not speedrun progress, but uh, probably going through the game faster than someone who's never played it before, I imagine. So let's put my... I'm going to carry one green herb with me, just in case.
Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're just gonna do this. I've got three empty inventory slots. That is probably enough. Um... Here's the laugh. Here it is. Yes. Welcome. Yes. There it is. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused. And do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. There it is again! 